What is up? This is Jam bringing you another locking tutorial. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the Skeeter Rabbit. The Skeeter Rabbit is all about the footwork. In this video, I'm gonna break down the technique for you as well as show you a couple different ways that you can get creative with it. Let's do it! Damn, damn, here comes the man, hot damn. All right, so the Skeeter Rabbit, this move was originated by OG Skeeter Rabbit. This was his uh, own personal move. And originally, the, the way that it was done was um, kind of the way a Scooby-Doo is done with a, a prep and a lock bounce before it. Um, so there's originally it goes one and two first and then you do the Skeeter Rabbit but for the sake of timing in the counts I'm just gonna show you the footwork okay so let's jump into this I'm gonna show you the basic way first then slowly but surely we'll add in difficulty to the move okay so the first thing um, is going to be I'm gonna start with my right leg you can start with it with that with whatever leg you want First thing is you're going to kick, okay? So you're going to kick and step out, okay? From the side, it looks like this. One and two, okay? So you're gonna double tap there. Ta, 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 okay? Kick and out. All right, so we kick and step out. Now from here, you're gonna come back and this is your prep because you're going to scoop and do a hop step Boom, 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 just like that. So adding it together slowly, you go one and two and three and four. From the side, one and two and three and four. And then you can repeat it on this side if you want. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four, okay? Now the arms, uh, a, the traditional way to do this move is like you're running. So this is like a really, really animated move. So uh, the arm position, first, you're going to kick and you're gonna pull the arm up like this. One and, when you step out, you're gonna pull it in, switch the arm, two, and from here when you kick, three and four, okay? So the arm switches from here to here, then you scoop and end, okay? A little bit quicker. You go one and two and three and four, okay? Just like that. Now we're going to add in the jump. So the first way, there was no jump. All we did was kick, tap, tap. So this leg was planted the whole time. Ta, 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 and ha, 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 okay? This time, what we're going to do is we're gonna add a jump out, okay? So, if I'm on this side, we're gonna go one, and, now from here, you're gonna jump, boom, two, okay? So both legs are gonna jump out. Once again, one and two. Now, I'm putting all my weight on this leg here. This is important. You wanna shift your body weight from center to out, to front, uh, to the right leg, okay? One and two. From here, you're gonna hop back and, so there's two jumps there. Boom, to here, then you're gonna scoop and step, okay? From the front, one and jump and scoop and down. From this side, you go, kick and jump, and scoop and down, yeah? So that weight transfer is important. From here to the left foot, yeah? So you can practice this right here. Boom, 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 yeah? Ta, ta, boom, boom, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just like that. So that's how you do it with two legs. That's a double leg. You can also do the same thing with one leg. So what that looks like is one, and, and when I jump out, I'm gonna lift this leg up two, okay? One and two, then I jump back on this leg, and three and four, okay? Again, kick, tap, right leg, 
left leg, scoop it down. Okay? And then from the front, boom, ta, 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 ha, ha, ha. And then from this side, boom, ba, 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 hoo, hoo, hoo. Just like that. Rabbit. Now I'm just gonna show you a few different ways that you can kind of get creative with it. This move doesn't have a lot of actual variations as far as I know, uh, but really there's a lot of different ways that you can get creative. And this is one of my favorite moves because it's all based on the feet. And you can always add different elements on top while you're doing it, yeah? You can wrist roll and you can add things on top because it's the feet. And so you, as long as you can mix up the feet, you can also do whatever you want on top. But let me just show you a couple ways that uh, you can start getting creative with it. So one basic one is to repeat. And you're going to change directions. So I'm going to start with the right leg. I'll go one and two and. From here, I'm going to turn to the back and kick and out and. And then repeat one more time. Kick and out and up and down. Okay, so this is just a concept really, is that you can change directions with it. So if I wanna go front to side, I can go one and two and front and side and boom, 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 ha, ha, ha. And that would be a full eight count. Another way that you can get creative with this is when you do your hop step, you can change the way that you kick and land. So for instance, uh, if I start one and two and, I could kick out and down and move over to the side. Yeah, or I can move backwards. One and two and three and four. Okay, so you can add those, that kick and step to any kind of different direction. You can cross and step. Yeah, you can ha, 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 step back. So get creative and play with how you finish it. Yeah, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, ba. Boom, boom, ba, boom, ha, ha. All different ways that you can play with it. Thank you so much for checking out this locking tutorial. I really hope you learned something, and if you did, please hit that like button for me. I would really appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment. I would love to hear your feedback on this move and any kind of ways that you like to get creative with it. As always, shout out to the Drop Dance Studio for hosting this tutorial, and please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that little bell icon so you always get notified when I put out a new tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.